Hi, it's the great British sexpert here. And this is a vlog based on the news this morning that Brad and Angelina have split. <laughs> what we thought was one of Hollywood's most strong couples is now no more. Angelina has filed for divorce. There's rumours of infidelity. There's rumours of, you know, Brad's uh, lifestyle, his behaviour. And we don't really know what the reasons are for the split just yet. However, what it really highlights to us is how you do have to be, when you're in a relationship, you have to be aware of the changing dynamics. Are you both on the same path? Do you want the same things? You know, with Angelina and Brad, she was a very humanitarian. He just wanted to have fun. Um, but there's all sorts of things that can change the dynamics and it's not being aware of those things that can cause relationships to break up. So, for example, if your partner's out of work or you end up out of work, if you're on medication, if you're illness, stress, depression, um, having children. There, these are all things that will change the dynamics in a relationship and it's really, really important to keep that connection and keep... Um, keep to keep the relationship strong so there's a number of ways you can do that but obviously intimacy is one of those things it's really important to to not forget during these times of change and sometimes people find it difficult to um, either initiate sex or intimacy and that's where things like this can come in handy I've got a game here called monogamy that I'm just going to tell you a little bit about that is obviously only if you're in a monogamous relationship is this relevant to you but this game I, I had a go with my partner a couple of weeks ago and actually it's quite fun he, he actually enjoyed it which was surprising so let's have a look at this because this is some one of the games that you could do there's lots out there but that will actually help keep the connection so a hot affair with your partner obviously better have an affair with them than to have a real affair with another person um so it comes like so and it is a little bit like it's obviously it's a take on the um uh, monopoly board um and it we have a board like so move that out of the way there's various different cards come in here there's a pile of steamy cards which I place on the steamy section there we have intimate cards and you'll see more when, well let me move this out of the way now actually there we go and we have passionate cards and each of these sections of cards have got a his and a her section bit and then we have the fantasy cards. Also got here a his and hers little things. So obviously I will play the red. And we start on go. He plays with the blue. We start on go. And really the aim of this game is to gradually build up um, intimacy. So if you find that you're not having those date nights or that special time with your partner for whatever reason, this is a great game to get you back into it. So as you can see, it's a board game, shape the dice one, and it involves moving around the board. Now, when you get on a square that has an M in a heart, that's one of the exciting cards. So the, you have to go around the board six times. Well, you don't, but that's the full game. So the first, because I've, I'm going around the first time, I'm starting with intimate. And what happens is these, um, when you land on an M, I put a little pink circle on there and I get an intimate card. So I read that. Is your idea of sexy underwear, I'm reading the hers bit obviously, the same as his, talk it through, the truth can be very revealing. So this is just a little bit about foreplay and communication, which is obviously really important in intimacy and relationships. And I'm not going to go through the whole game, but basically there are times where you can, if you land on a, um, a shoe, you do a little sexy strip. That's you or him. If you land on a drink, you have a drink. It doesn't need to be alcoholic. 
Um, if you land on a pair of lips, then you kiss. And depending on what level you're at is whether you just go for a peck or you go for a full-on snog. Um, every time you pass go, you get a fantasy, pick up a fantasy card. And at the end, you choose one fantasy card. And just to give you a little idea, and these don't have to be done straight away. Um, this says, let me in, I'm a doctor. That for this fantasy, the roles of doctor and patient are usually played by the male and female, respectively. But they can easily be reversed if you wish. The patient sits nervously in the waiting, waiting room until called in by the doctor, who explains this will be a routine examination, with the nurse in full attendance and nothing to worry about. The doctor must retain absolute professionalism throughout and explain what is going on going to happen at every stage. First, the chest is given a rigorous inspection including sucking the nipples to check blood flow and so on. You get the general idea. So that's quite fun. And these cards, you don't have to play the game to the full. The nice thing about this game is that you can just adapt it and you could use the fantasy cards and pick one out at any time when you're not even playing the board game. Um, and my partner, yeah, the feedback that I got from him is that he found it really fun. And there was a few things we weren't sure what we were supposed to do, but actually that made it better because we were making our own interpretation of the game. So this is really good for couples who feel like they just want to spice up their sex lives. They want to uh, have a date night and looking for something different and fun to do. People who are looking for new ideas, you know, there's some of the things that, that, that it asks you to do here you might not have thought of. Um, and what's nice is it does sort of build you up in those levels. So it's up to you. You can just, you know, maybe if you haven't been intimate for a while and you think you, you want to start bringing intimacy back into your relationship, you could just start by using the pink cards and not actually going any further um, and then build it up to the passionate and then the steamy. I'll give you an idea of the passionate. Okay, so I'll read you his this time. Henpecked, you are the latest and largest member of an all-male stripper group. On your first appearance in a bid to impress, you go up to a group of girls on a hen night and invite one of them, your partner, to try a mouthful. Put on some suitable music and go for it. Obviously, there's no... Um, you have to do that because it says it on the card thing you know it's easy if it's something that you don't want to do you don't even have to tell your partner just put it to the bottom pick another card find one that you do like um steamy let me give you an example of steamy okay this is hers blind man's buff for this to work and boy it does work he must be standing upright totally naked properly blindfolded, gagged, and pre preferably earplugged to for maximum sensory concentration. He must not move. While you toy with him for five minutes, a flick of the tongue here, a smear of lube there, a bite of the nipple, an exploring finger. You circle him silently, teasing and taunting. So, yeah, that's quite a hard thing to do. Um... But anyway, this is why keeping the intimacy, keeping your relationship alive, um, this game, I highly recommend Monogamy. And you can get it from my boutique. And if you go to my website, the link below, I'll just put a link directly to this game if you're interested. Um, or there's lots of other fun, sexy stuff too. But don't let your relationship go down the Brangelina way and end up in divorce. Keep it hot, keep it spicy and try monogamy. Thank you for watching.